Normal people see Ferrari sports cars as pure status symbols, but there is so much more to it. Ferrari has been manufacturing Italian sports cars to the masses since 1947, and their history is rich with racing heritage, so as a result, they have created some of the most quintessential pieces of sports car art the world has ever seen from robust V8 artworks to V12-powered race cars, and even some odd balls which had six cylinders. Despite Ferrari's importance and their tantalizing range of sports cars, some individuals just outright refuse to buy a Ferrari, like Jay Leno for instance. Many motor enthusiasts argue that along the lines Ferrari lost their tenacity and vision, but we could not agree less. Well, we'll have to see how their new Purosang SUV performs before making up our minds. So before we get started make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for our future updates. Number 10. Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. Unfortunately, the F12 Berlinetta just didn't make our cut, but we felt that we would be doing Ferrari purists a dishonor if we were to skip over this one. The F12 was one of Ferrari's most gracefully ferocious front-engined V12 cars ever produced and is also the predecessor to the obnoxious, but elegant, 812 Superfast. Underneath its sculpted hood was a naturally aspirated 6.3-liter V12 which put out 720 horsepower, and with great power comes great top speed, 211 miles per hour, 340 kilometers per hour, to be exact. So it was powerful and fast, but that wasn't its intended purpose. Number 9. Ferrari 365 GTB. The Ferrari 365 GTB, Daytona is by far the tamest and most luxurious Ferrari to drive on our list, but just because it's less agile and more comfortable than the rest. Doesn't mean it's boring or unworthy of its prancing horse logo. The 365 was designed with aerodynamics in mind, thus explaining why it almost looks like a massive bird's beak, but not something as ugly as a Maribo stork, rather like a gorgeous toucan. Number 8. Ferrari 599 GTO. The Ferrari 599 GTO was an enhanced 599, and also the third, and last, Ferrari to be fitted with the GTO badge after the 250 GTO and 288 GTO. Only 599 examples of the 599 GTO were ever made, and just like all other limited production Ferrari sports cars, the 599 GTO's interior was stripped down to the bare minimum. The GTO had not one inch of leather inside, the whole interior was constructed using Alcantara, mesh, and of course an unbelievable amount of carbon fiber. Number 7. Ferrari 430 Scuderia. Ah, here we are, the first mid-engined V8 Ferrari on our list, the 430 Scuderia. Yes, that's right. The F430's hot and scarce version was just called the 430 Scuderia. Ferrari decided to completely ditch the F in its name for some reason. The 430 Scuderia's got its name from Ferrari's Grand Prix racing team, which started their journey back in 1929. The Scud's interior looked as if someone had ransacked everything they could take. There's no factory radio, no air conditioner, even the Scuderia's floor is even just a bare metal plate. Once again, comfortability was never their intended purpose, its end goal was to set fast lap times regardless of your spine's condition. Number 6. Ferrari 250 GTO. The GTO badge in the 250's name is short for Gran Turismo Omologato which is Italian for homologate Grand Tourer, and in plain English, this means it's a road-going version of the 250 Testa Rosa race car. Only 36250 GT O models were ever produced, but not only was it one of the scarcest Ferraris ever built, but the most valuable setting the highest auction price ever recorded, at $48.4 million. Number 5. Ferrari 360 Challenge Stradale. The Ferrari 360 was a monumental car for Ferrari since it was the F355 successor, but looked nowhere identical to its ancestors. It ditched its pop-up headlights for see-through ones and had a more flush appearance than before. Now, the Challenge Stradale was almost an entirely different car from the standard 360 Modena. It's barely road legal if we're honest, and that's why we love it so much. It came without any luxuries like an air conditioner or radio, but by far the most bizarre. Its steering wheel was naked, there were no buttons or knobs. But that's not where its racecar personality stopped, it sported a marvelous yell gifted by its 425 horsepower 3.6 liter V8, 
and its rigorous F1 gearbox and colossal carbon ceramic brakes were identical to those found in the Ferrari Enzo. Number 4. Ferrari SF90 Stradale. We wouldn't be able to compile a list of the best Ferraris to drive without mentioning their most powerful, sports car yet, the SF90 Stradale. It derives its name from Ferrari's racing team who celebrated its 90th birthday in late 2019 and is Ferrari's second-ever hybrid, right after the LaFerrari of course. Every single bit of the SF90 is futuristic, its exterior is designed with a combination of short sharp edges and long curvaceous body lines in mind, and its interior. We have one word to describe its interior, 9 screens. Yes, that's right, there are almost 10 screens that form the SF90's interior, don't believe us, check this interior overview out. With this upgraded technology, a lot of driver connection is lost in the process, it almost feels easy to drive, but on the other hand, that's only if you lack a heavy foot in your $500,000 Super PHEV. Number 3. LaFerrari. Not only was the LaFerrari, yes we know. That's technically the, the Ferrari, a dramatically styled piece of art, but also a huge leap for Ferrari into the automotive future as it was the first ever Ferrari to ever make use of a hybrid setup, and fewer than 500 were made. This configuration consisted of a 6.3-liter V12 alongside an electric motor that produced a total net horsepower of 949 and 664 pound-feet of torque. Its electric counterpart made accelerations ever more brutal, and as a result, this Italian hybrid supercar could go from 0 to 60 in as quick as 2.5 seconds, complete the standing quarter mile in 9.8 seconds, and will reach up to 218 miles per hour according to Ferrari themselves. Number 2. Ferrari 458 Special. And finally, we have reached our runner-up, the Ferrari 458 Special. The Special is Ferrari's last naturally aspirated V8 sports car and is truly the best modern Maranello sports car to date. Its exterior is just perfection, and so is everything else on this car, from its carbon fiber blood to its glorious naturally aspirated 605 horsepower V8 sized Italian heart. On paper, the Special sounds incredible, but in real life, it's even better. Number 1. Ferrari F40. The Ferrari F40 isn't just one of Marinello's finest creations but is considered to be one of the best driver-focused supercars to ever roam the planet, and that's exactly why it wins first place on our list. The F40 was built as a celebration of Ferrari's racing team's 40th anniversary, and every single one manufactured was finished in an extremely thin coat of Rosa Casa red paint. Why such a thin layer of paint on a $2 million dollar supercar you might ask? To save weight, of course. This theory is implemented throughout the entire F40. It had hand crank windows, a literal wire to act as an interior door handle, no radio, no air conditioner, not even an interior dome light. That brings us to the end of this video. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for our future updates. Thank you for watching.